seller financed mortgages. So this again, somewhat of an unusual situation. Usually when you're looking at the schedule B or reporting interest, it's fairly straightforward kind of situation, but you have some of the, these kind of more unusual situations that could come up as well. If you sold your home or other property and the buyer used the property as a personal residence, list first any interest the buyer paid you on a mortgage or other form of seller financing. Be sure to show the buyer's name, address, and social security number. You must also let the buyer know your social security number. So if you don't show the buyer's name, address, and social security number, or let the buyer know your social security number, you may have to pay a $50 penalty. If you or the buyer do not have a social security number, use the appropriate TIN for the filer or recipient of form 1098. So that's the interest, you know, form for mortgage interest. So for more information, see general instructions for certain information returns 2022 nominees. Again, somewhat of a usual, unusual situation here. If you received a form 1099 INT that includes interest you received as a nominee, that is in your name, but the interest actually belongs to someone else, report the total on line one. Do this even if uh, you later distribute some or all of this income to others. Under your last entry on line one, put a subtotal of all interest listed on line one. Below the subtotal, enter nominee distribution and show the total interest you received as a nominee. Subtract this amount from the subtotal and enter the result on line uh, two. So basically, you're giving them more information uh, in that case. So you're telling them, you know, this is the amount on, because you can see what's happening here, right? If you, the, the IRS is gonna have the form 1099 and you're basically saying, I've got this 1099 issued to me, but I think it should be going uh, to somebody else in essence. And so you're, you're basically listing out in the schedule that you have the interest to you minus the stuff that's going to someone else. So it still ties into the actual form 1099 and then tells the IRS where they need to go to get their money which is someone else, right? So, but tip, if you received interest as a nominee, you must give the actual owner uh, a form 1099-INT unless the owner is your spouse and file forms 1096 and 1099 interest with the IRS. For more details, see the general instructions for, for certain information returns and the instructions for form 1099-INT and 1099-OID.